Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one minute till at a time. And we are so lucky Mr. Greg Dickerson has agreed to a fourth conversation this morning. How are you doing, sir? Doing great, Michael. Good to see you. Nice, yes, man. So, hey, I just wanted to, I wanted to take a quote from that Jubilee interview that we talked about earlier, rich versus poor, is the economy rigged? And one of the topics, or I think they call them chapters, if you watch that uh, video, is billionaires shouldn't exist. So without watching the video, without giving you context, Let's pretend Elizabeth Warren just told you billionaires shouldn't exist. How does that hit you? How does that feel? What, what do you think? Elizabeth who? <laughs> Elizabeth Warren, yeah. The senator. Actually, she just got COVID, apparently. Yeah. So, you know, it's like I said, and I think we talked about it before, uh, you know, you can't, you know, stymie, um, you know, entrepreneurship. You can't stymie creativity. You know, the people that end up billionaires, a lot of times are the ones that are creating opportunity for a lot of other people, creating value. Obviously, the bigger the problem you solve, the more value you create, you know, the wealthier you can ultimately become. And, you know, this is this is a country of free opportunity. You know, we are a capitalistic, you know, economy and society. And you just you just can't mess with that because then you become China, you become yeah. Russia, you know, you become these other countries that limit um, you know, their ability to produce and create and solve problems. And, you know, what Elizabeth Warren's real problem is, is, you know, the tax system is not fair. The political system is not fair. And they're the ones that created it. So they need to fix it. It's the tax laws that are, you know, the legal tax laws that everybody's following to, you know, limit the amount of taxes they pay. I think Elon Musk is worth over 100 billion and he's paying, you know, 10 percent of that. Um, you know, in, in taxes. And I think prior years, he paid a lot less than that because of the tax laws. Yeah. So, I mean, really, that's all they got to do. If they don't like the, if they don't like the game, change the rules. Yeah, exactly. I find, I find Elizabeth Warren kind of funny um, just because she's going toe to toe with Elon Musk and they're trading Twitter tweets now and all these things. It's, it's kind of comical to watch on the, on the sidelines, but actually I thought about that the other day, right? Billionaires. First off, a lot of billionaires become billionaires in their lifetime. They're so they're self-made, right? And then you go back and you think about the billionaires, right? Um, they did they created railroads back in the day, steel plants, right? They created, they create they to your point, they solved huge problems, right? Elon Musk essentially created he didn't create electric cars, but he kind of made them cool. Um, he's gonna space tourism didn't exist. People didn't think he could do it. Boring I mean just the amount of the problems that you can solve and and if you get it right, there's just rewards. Right? And you're right. If you want to change the, you want more taxes from rich, change change the tax code. So, um, yeah. Again, a, a self created billionaire should be celebrated, not punished. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's then that's the you know entitlement mentality, you know, that is really creating the problem and holding, you know, people back in this country is people like Elizabeth Warren, because, you know, instead of saying, well, wait a minute, how can we make more people, yeah. you know, like that, they are actually creating income inequality in, in you know, in the laws and the rules that they've actually created. And by trying to attack you know, and tax productivity and stymie productivity and, you know, make it make it counter you know, productive for people to want to get out there and create, uh, you know, you take away somebody's incentive to create, they're, they're potentially not going to do it, yeah. you know, so instead of punishing, you know, success, you should re reward success. And the politicians are the ones that benefit a lot of times from success, they're getting paid off, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're, you know, uh, giving out tax breaks and incentives and things like that to line their own pockets and, you know, get things done that they want to get done. So, you know, it's the politicians at the end of the day that are to blame for income inequality for the tax system as it is. And, you know, there are socialist governments out there that, you know, that try to create equality across the board. And, you know, everybody keeps coming here for a reason. Yeah. I was just thinking as you were going through that, I was thinking about, because again, I'm, I'm a child of the eighties, right? So for us, the cold war was real, right? I remember getting under my desk because of, you know, this or that. And um, where I was going with this is I was just thinking, I don't remember anything kind of revolutionary or game changing or life changing coming out of Russia. Think about what the US has created just since the 80s. And um, I think that's just another sign that if you're a self-created billionaire, you should be celebrated. 
And I think you are, at least you were in the US, maybe now you're a target. But yeah, you are solving huge problems, right? The, the person who cre cures cancer, for example, should be a billionaire, right? I mean, just it's just it's just a warped way of thinking. I think the people that risk, work, and challenge and solve the big problems should be rewarded. Yeah, and you know, to attack success and punish success and you know, uh, penalize, you know, success and creativity and entrepreneurship, you know, that just, that just isn't the way to do it. It should be rewarded. Whereas a lot of times we will, we reward, you know, nothing. We reward, mm -hmm. you know, people staying home, not working, you know, things like that. Now there's a lot of people that can't, and I'm all for a system that's very simple. We take care of those who can't. And uh, that's, that's our obligation to do as a nation together is take care of those that can't take care of themselves, help others that cannot help themselves. But, you know, we absolutely do not want to be giving out handouts to fully capable people that should be out there producing, you know, and creating. And we definitely want, don't want to de-incentivize productivity. And mm -hmm. if you take away somebody's ability to earn and you just have a caste system where, you know, Michael, all you can do is this. And you're, everybody's making the same, but you know, you're going to do this and somebody's going to do that it takes away people's people's incentive to want to create and to want to do things, you know, at that point, it's kind of pointless. Yeah, totally agree. Well, I right, thank you for doing this topic. I was just curious what you thought. Uh, I appreciate it. Where can people find you? Yeah, gregdickerson.com. That's where all my uh, YouTube channel, podcast, everything, gregdickerson.com. Very cool, folks. And lastly, if you wanted to ask Greg a question next week, next week will be our last interview of the year. Leave your comments below. And uh, if I like your question, I will have it be a topic next week. Thank you very much, buddy. Yep, good to see you. Yep.